Hey guys, um, wanted to uh, get a little bit of an update video out here, but um, I'm also trying something here, something I've always wanted to do. Um, I have transferred plugs from an established part of my lawn into a, um, you know, patches and things like that that I've had over time and, and did fairly well with plugs. Um, but I've always wondered what it was like if you bought them online. And so I, um, I actually ordered from ZoysiaPlug.com. Now they are not a sponsor. They're not giving me anything for this video. I'm just a guy with a yard, man. I'm not some special person, right? So just me wanting to try this. I have a couple of areas in my front yard that I'll show you here soon um, where I've had some, you know, some spots that have just, uh, you know, they got destroyed by, I had a mole last year that did a lot of damage. And, uh, and then, you know, I scalped this year and I really feel like, you know, the, the weather and everything that we had this year um, getting cold after I scalped really hurt things, but I've got a few areas that just didn't come back very well. And, uh, so I thought about it and, uh, and I ordered from zoysiaplug.com and I thought I would give you guys, uh, uh, an idea of what it looks like when you get an order from them. Uh, so it's pretty cool. You got to admit there's a whole box full of zoysia. I think this was around 50 bucks shipped and it's 50 plugs. Um, probably not necessary. I could have plugged out of my own yard. But like I said, I've always wanted to know what this was like. So they send you some, you know, some directions, some instructions, of course, water the heck out of it. Uh, and they give you some information on uh, fertilizing and things like that and what you should do. Uh, this is, um, from the way it's written, it's really set up for someone who's trying to establish a new lawn through plugging. I'm gonna, you know, fill in some patchy areas and stuff like that with plugging. And then uh, the key for me is, you know, water it really well, which we've had a ton of water here recently. We got water, we had rain coming all weekend, so it's a good week for me to get these in the ground. Um, and I just have to be conscious of where they're at because, you know, when I mow over the next, you know, several weeks, um, I'll just uh, hit those areas with uh, with a, a weed eater and uh, and sort of mow around them. But uh, but definitely cool. They came uh, in the mail, and I'll give you an idea here. They're, uh, they're actually still, they're not dry. Um, they're not wet but you can tell that they've had ample watering and everything. So I'm going to put them out here and, uh, and I'm gonna get them in the ground this evening uh, with my daughter, but very healthy, very good looking. Um, quite honestly, a little better than what the patches that I, the plugs that I pulled with my own plugger uh, have looked like, um, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna use one of the pluggers that you step on, you know, and let it uh, punch a hole in the ground. Uh, my plan is to uh, dig some holes with that Fill them in with these. Those are round, these are square. So I've uh, got some potting soil. I'm gonna mix that in with some of the dirt that comes out of the ground and sort of use it to fill in the areas around this and uh, get them in the ground good and get them going. So uh, I will, uh, I'll probably post this one and then, uh, um, or I may wait till I, I do the plugging and post this with the plugging so you guys can see it and then I'll get you some updates. Uh, uh, I'll get an update up here soon too, just on the overall health of the yard. Um, it's, uh, it's doing well now, now that we've had some rain and we've got some heat, uh, the cold has been challenging, but look, uh, I'll get this going here shortly.